Anyone else? All right, good, good, good. That, oh, you have another one. Yes, Doreen. From Kona. From Kona. Yeah. Can, you, can your parents be multiple profiles? Yes. The question is, can your parents have multiple parent profiles? Oh, yeah. You know, one of the, one of the questions on your questionnaire is, Ask your parents to share, or do you have any knowledge of what their parents were like? In other words, to look at the grandparents. Because if you understand your grandparents, you'll understand your parents even better. Uh, and uh, it'll, give you, it'll give you more insight. Yes, but the answer is yes. Where does the step-parent come into play? Well, uh, I think the step-parent is a parent. And so we want to deal first and foremost with the <laughs> biological parent first. But the step-parent definitely has shaped you. Uh, your understanding of God and, and likely contributed to your strongholds <laughs> and your blessings. <laughs> Any other questions? What if, it's hard to explain. What if there's no parents? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Like you brought up your cell phones. Mm -hmm. Right, so the question is, what if you've brought up yourself? I don't think I'm going to ask any uh, Q&A anymore. These are really <laughs> deep questions. <laughs> well, that's a good question. I'm not teasing you. Uh, my, my answer to that is, uh, you are now in the family of God. And so past is past. Let's learn how the Father operates, what the fa how the family of God operates. You know, that, that's the beauty. We've been, we're the ecclesia. We're the called out ones. We've been called out of darkness. We've been called to leave our families, not literally, but spiritually to join the Father's family and so focus on the Father and how he runs his family and how he operates. That's what I would, I would look at prim primarily. You have, uh, you, she's giving me the look. Why don't you come up here and answer that question? <laughs> Uh, can you explain what you meant by you raised yourself? Because you had to have belonged to someone when you were young. Come here. They were there not present. My mom, well, my mom <coughs> married several times. None of them were to an interest in religion. Mm -hmm. All had was abuse. My mom was distant and never really. Nobody helped me in the world. But you weren't parented. Right. So you'd, you'd have a... Mm -hmm. Right. So they were probably absent, right? On both sides. On both sides. And then you can kind of explain to what degree, because uh, it will ask you <clears throat> memories that you've had with your mom. Um, well, I'm just saying, the questionnaire will ask. And so, um, so pain is not um, all always what was done to you. Pain is also comes in the form of what you really lacked. So you can put that down too. <clears throat> That's a great point that, that Barbara just raised. The orphan stronghold is not just rooted in pain. It's rooted in the absence of what God intended to give you but you did not receive. And how can you connect with something that you didn't receive? You have no knowledge of it. You have no experience of it. Right? And this is where the family of God comes in. And this is why God is going to not only transform us from orphans to sons and daughters, but he's going to transform sons and daughters into fathers and mothers. Because fathers and mothers in the spirit are really lacking in God's family. And the more we're able to father one another, we can have spiritual parents who are going to give you an experience of what you, you, you know. But, but one spiritual parent, you know, can't handle everybody in a congregation. That's why God wants to raise up multiple spiritual moms and dads. Mm 